Hey friends, I'm sitting in my kitchen. It was my husband's day off, so naturally I asked him if we could go find the deals and he said yes. So we are still working on the chicken coop, but we went out to Target and found some awesome deals. So I'm gonna show you what we got and what we're gonna do with it. And I'm just gonna take you along our day. Might be some meals happening. The kids are into movies, so they're watching Coco behind me if you hear any of that. But I'm gonna turn you around and show you what I got because I'm so excited. There are so many things that you can find out there to turn into food storage. So I am always finding clothes out items or things on sale that I can use for later. Whether I freeze it, I can it, I dehydrate it, or do whatever with, I am trying my best to find those items and then save it for the year. I'm new to fermenting, so I'm not typically doing a lot of that. If I'm doing any of that, it's really just my sauerkraut, but I'm excited. There was a deal on peaches. I have not found them anywhere in my area, organically grown um at a farm that i want to i guess support i just haven't found or well an orchard that i want to support i have not found any good ones so um there are palisade peaches but that is quite a drive for me i believe that would be six or seven hours so we're not getting palisade peaches this year that's a big colorado thing if you're not familiar with that but we found some other peaches so let me turn you around they're from cali so woohoo okay here they are i believe they're two pound bags they were two dollars each moonlight packing corp reedley california is that north uh, i'm not sure but anyways we got four bags of those and then the nectarines also were on sale so i went ahead and grabbed one of those and then the pears kid size bartlett pears were two dollars off bringing them down to a dollar fifty and then i got a chopped salad kit i don't know why that's in this but i mean that was a dollar fifty two i'm just gonna feed that to the chicks and ducks so anywho i'm gonna put that in here but i think i'm gonna can some peaches canning peaches are really easy for me i do a lot with them. Honestly, uh, we do peach pies with them. My husband's favorite pork that I make, I put peaches on it. I do peach chutney on salmon and mahi-mahi, and it's really delicious. I do peaches in salsa. Um, one of you reminded me that of that like a few weeks ago, but we have a lot of stuff. That combined with the pears, I might just um, cut these up and freeze them and then put them in different dishes. It really depends. Pears are really great on grilled cheeses as well. And then nectarines, we're just gonna munch on here. But if you were here for the prepper pantry haul, you saw that I got a ton of apples. So I need to can those as well. And it's just gonna be a big day of preserving and we're gonna take you along with us. Don't know what the title's gonna be here, but we will come up with it along the way. A lot of the times I can plan content, but days like this when I just wanna pick up and show you the deals and talk to you about saving money and my life in general there's no plan so we shall see what happens i'm like checking out the ducks and chicks it's raining a tad i'm not trying to spoil them but they get a little finicky around the rain the ducks love it but the chicks are like Ugh. so yes that is what i'm dealing with today um we just came back from fuzzies tacos i got some veggie tacos they were phenomenal so yay can't wait to take you along with us today I do have to show you, we picked up one of these neck bottles. It is for eight plus months. If you didn't know, um, my daughter has had a hard time swallowing swallow study because of her, I guess we'll call it condition. Um, but yeah, this is a big deal. So um, talking to her swallow study people, we think that she's ready for this. So we're gonna give it a try. She's very, um, I guess, resistant to any sort of transition bottle. So. I think this will be good for her. it will strengthen her ability to hold that bottle and i just i don't know i'm excited i feel good about this but these are expensive they're like ten dollars so eh, not a fan i really wanted to go the route of mason jars with that bottle top on it so we'll see i have to bring them to our next swallow study appointment and see if that is okay by her doctors but honestly we're just gonna try it anyways too Okay, why and I have these peaches soaking in, in some vinegar and some warm water. Then we're gonna take them out and peel them and we're going to cut them up. Some of them will be diced. We are very excited. I will say these are my go-tos when it comes to finding a good recipe, Beginner's Guide to Canning. That's linked in my Amazon 
store, but um, sometimes I just don't, I find stuff in here that's not, I wouldn't say complicated, but the ingredients are a lot, and I kind of just like the simplicity of the Grange cookbooks, but we shall see. Let me find what I want to do here, and I'll show you. I am at um, a standstill here. I think I'm either going to do the spiced honey peaches or I might do both of these. So spiced honey peaches and some apple peach butter. I'm going to throw in those pears and nectarines to the apple peach butter if I do it that way. But those are the two recipes that I found in here. And I thought it would be, you know, really tasty, the spiced honey peaches with that pork dish that I make. So we shall see. I typically am not putting cinnamon in that, but I think it will be really yummy. Okay, so what I'm doing is just peeling the peaches like I did with my holy motorcycles, like I did with my apples a few weeks back, but um, they're pretty, I mean, they're not fully ripe yet, so I think these will be great to can, to be honest with you because they'll be easier to process. Now, this is gonna be 10 pounds of peaches and a lot of those recipes call for like 30 pounds of peaches which I don't have so we're gonna have some of the recipes I will be curious to know how much we get from this I am tempted to do peach dumplings as you know I worked at an apple dumpling stand as my first job and I love it so I might core maybe like four to six of these and then just make little dumplings or peach turnovers with my pie filling but, or with my one, two, three pie crust, which I've done on the channel, it's really just about keeping things cold. So cold water, cold flour, cold butter always does well for me. I don't do shortening because I just like a flaky crust. So, whoa, are you all right? Oh, thank you. You okay? All right. Yeah, so I just like a flaky crust, so I do better with mine, but I will show you that if I decide to do that. I'm not sure yet. We shall see, right? Mm -hmm. what, what you're doing? I'm making some peaches. We're processing some peaches, aren't Mom, we? Can I, we eat after done? Absolutely. Isn't that so fun? What a deal, right? Bargain done? shopper. Yeah. Well, okay. We'll see you soon. Okay, I'm back at a semi-better angle. I forgot to say that what I'm doing, what I'm doing is dicing these just at the pit there and then, um, I guess, I wouldn't even call it a quart. I guess I'm just putting it like this. Mom. So I'll get eight pieces total from each Mom. peach. Hold on one sec, buddy. Okay. And then the peach skins, I'm actually making into a peach syrup. And that could be for peach tea or, I mean, just about anything. Peach margaritas are going to be real good. But um, that's really tasty. You know me. I don't like to waste things. So save these if you're anything like me. You can also save the pits as well. But... Um, many different things you can do with that too. So I wanted to tell you what I'm doing with these because I forgot to. So I've decided the best use of my time here is to raw pack seven jars. I went in my binder from three years ago and we did five jars and needed just a little bit more. So that will be fine for the raw pack in the jars. Um, and then over here, I have 14 cups of water. I have two cups of organic cane sugar and one cup of pure organic lemon juice and i'll probably put a teaspoon of lemon juice in each jar on the bottom before i put the peaches in just i don't know to be careful add some more acidity but um here are the peaches they're all done and if we have any left over i'm going to vacuum seal them so raw pack to me means taking your ingredient and literally leaving it raw and packing it into the jars, although this could mean different things to everyone. Some people still blanch them, but I don't. I never have. So I'm just filling the jars up about three-fourths of the way with those peaches, and then I'm going to make sure my liquid covers it because I know that the high heat will take some of the liquid. I'm just going to go a little bit over, maybe a half inch what I'm supposed to but before I do that I'm adding that lemon juice again you can never be too careful about acidity I know fruits 
preserve well, but um, I really can't taste a difference here if I'm using it in a pie or whatever I use it in. So again, filling up the liquid for each jar, and then I'm moving on to just cleaning off each jar with some vinegar, and then I will put the caps on and let them in the water bath for around 20 minutes, but that's gonna vary wherever you are in the world. So I wasn't sure if this was gonna work, but it did. I made an extra syrup here when I did those 14 cups, and I wanted to do that because I could add my skins and pits to this little dish here, we shall call it. Again, it's gonna be a peach syrup, so I need it to thicken up a bit. I am adding one more cup of sugar in there and one more cup of water. I'm gonna bring this to a boil at some point. I will probably do it tomorrow, to be honest with you. But I, of course, will show you when that's all said and done. But moving on, I'm adding about three cups of the rest of the peaches to some vacuum seal bags. And these will be great for turnovers, dumplings, pies. Again, we could make it into chutney, but it's really just a grab-and-go ingredient. I wanted to start focusing on things like that in my freezer instead of ready-made items. I have a lot of that already taken care of, so just easy sides like this are really helpful to have on hand, and I only spent $8. I'm coming outside here because Lee has finished the door and most of the coop, and I wanted to show you the progress. It's a little dark, but and might be able to see here I'm not sure but we have it all the way up to here and then we're gonna reinforce that with some hardware um, cloth and then here's the door I think he did a really awesome job um, of course we will keep a lock on this we don't have too many raccoons but you never know if this will even attract the raccoons so I'm loving it very very excited and yeah, this is kind of the setup right now. I'm trying to get you at a good angle. It's a little tricky, but I can see it out of my window, which is cool. Um, duck pond will be over on this side. That way I can um, have something that empties out into this area. And then over here will be the roost area. And then in this corner, I think I'm going to do the dust bath for the chicks. Um, if you didn't know, they dust bath pretty regularly. And it's actually really funny when they get in there um, and having a good time and relaxing they appear to be deceased if you look at them but they're really not they're just playing around having a good time um so that's like a four dust situation that will mix up there's diatomaceous earth in there but for um all of those creatures that may pose a threat to the flock I think I'm going to surround this area with mothballs. Um, my only concern is if the kids were to get to it. But someone suggested to do talk radio in the corner here, and they swear by it. It really keeps the raccoons away. So put a little solar radio in there, and maybe the chicks would be happy at night knowing that they think there's someone there i don't know if that makes sense but yeah so this area over here i would like to have open at some point so i can gather eggs that's the idea but not peach related just wanted to show you what's happening in the chicken coop area of our lives <laughs> While I'm waiting for my jars to seal, I'm taking you back to last night. You can tell because I have different nails, but I'm doing a little bit of meal prepping and I promised that I would start adding some content in like that. If you want a dedicated video to meal prepping, I can do that, but I'm typically doing a little bit at a time throughout the week. I don't really have a dedicated day, but I'm going to make some sort of dressing every single week. And this one is going to be a dill remoulade, or it could be an aioli or a whatever you want to call it so 
I have some chickpea liquid in there, about a fourth cup. I have a half cup of oil, just a sprinkle of garlic and dill mix, and then I had a splash of lemon juice and some acidity extra there. I just used red wine vinegar, and then I went ahead and took my immersion blender to this and just blended it up. I did end up adding some honey for some sweetness, but this will go great on sandwiches this week, but I am going to add some to a tuna salad here coming up. So this is a really easy recipe and then you just take the can of chickpeas and roast them up. Today I've chosen Cajun seasoning but sometimes I use barbecue sauce, sometimes I use curry powder, sometimes just salt and pepper but it's fun to experiment and it's a really great snack even if you're not a plant-based person. Chickpeas are a great source of nutrients. So now I'm making tuna salad for the week. I really love this in lettuce boats or sometimes I dip cucumbers in it, crackers, tortillas, but I really enjoy this wild caught, safe caught tuna salad. That was my son smelling it. He really loves tuna salad too. I add pickles and onions and then Worcestershire sauce. My brother used to always just eat a can of tuna with Worcestershire so that is why I put it in there it just reminds me of him the smell I guess I'm not sure but I'm adding a little bit of mayo in here I'd say probably two teaspoons and then I'm going to break this tuna up it's a little tricky to mix but I flavor with salt pepper and garlic and then a little bit of mustard powder or just regular old mustard if I have it on hand. Now that we've gotten that out of the way, I am taking my peaches out of the water bath. I leave them in there after it's done boiling for a little bit just because I don't want any shock to come to the glasses. I don't want the bottoms to break out. That would really bother me. So I'm happy to say they all sealed. Yay. I didn't have any doubt there with my peaches, but I wanted to show you this beautiful sunset. We had a great day of preserving all for under $15 honestly um, all of that meal prep and all of that preserving just went a long way for my family so that is going to do it for today's video I hope you all are enjoying a beautiful weekend as always stay adventurous stay creative and I'll catch you on the next one bye everyone